this is how to install or get an Atheros AR 507EG Wi-Fi card working on Mac OS X version 10.5.8. I installed IPC 10.5.8 1.6 Lite Edition. To make this work, you must use the vanilla kernel. Other kernels will not work, or at least that's what I've heard. I'm not positive. Okay. So first, all you need is this file, this package, which I'll put in the description. And before I start, I'll show you that I am not connected to any internet connection. Yes, it does say self-assigned IP, but my ethernet port is right there and there's nothing plugged into it, obviously. The modem's on the other side. Can't really see it, but it's there. Power Macintosh started up. Anyway, um. Oh, yeah, so. Now you're just gonna wanna install this. Let's see. Install Windows come up. Click on your hard disk. Continue. And install. So let me type my password. and install succeeded and since I don't have like a restart text installed it just like doesn't sh re actually restart the computer so I'm just gonna shut it down let it update its boot caches As you can see, it kind of stays with the power LED on. So you have to kind of hold down the power button. So yeah, that's why I can't like actually restart it because it won't actually start back up once I click restart. And you can just go ahead and boot normally. It should work fine. If it doesn't, try booting with dash F. Now, once you get this to work, it might you might ha it might require like a couple restarts every time you actually want to connect to the Wi-Fi. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but. I'm trying to fix that. I think the vanilla kernel will help with that. And sometimes you might get a kernel panic on boot. But once again, this is the first time I've actually tested this out with a the vanilla kernel. So that's probably what fixes it. Okay, so now you'll notice in your menu bar you have a Wi-Fi icon that says not configured. Go ahead and click open network preferences. It'll tell you a new interface has been detected. Click OK. Now go down here and click apply. As you can see the airport will now turn on, but there will be no networks. Go ahead and turn the airport off, turn it back on. I don't know why you do that, but I just do it just in case. Go into your applications. It'll install this thing called KissMac. Go ahead and open that. And now what you want to do is go up here, click Kiss Mac, click Preferences, click on Driver, click on Apple Airport Extreme Card Passive Mode, click Add, Close, click on Start Scan, type your password,
Now you'll see is scanning for networks. Now you'll see your network here and probably some others. Just go ahead and close it, click don't save. Now you can go up to your Wi-Fi and those networks be, will be listed here. There's mine. Go ahead and type your Wi-Fi password if you have one. Go ahead and click OK. And you're now connected to Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and go into Safari. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you install and get working almost 100% in a Theros AR507EG Wi-Fi card.